Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. What we got today is my methods for combining all the best glitches together for you to be able to make the red zone super easy so you can get out there and you can find your ray gun schematic, which you can only find from doing contracts in the red zone, guys. So this video is gonna show you how to make the red zone super easy so you can just go through and do that easy, guys. With that said, get down there, smash that like button, button for me as that helps me help you guys and helps the channel grow and with that said check this out guys i got a gray ray gun and we decide to increase its rarity to blue and then to purple <laughs> this game is so broken guys so broken as you see we've just increased it to blue and then we use a purple ether tool and change it to purple rarity <laughs> but with that said guys let's just get straight into today's method now guys if you don't know how to do the money glitch with the tombstone perk you're missing out go and watch the videos on how to do that and get in and start doing it guys build up your money in your tombstone perk and that is number one for the strategy is because you want to have money so with the tombstone perk you can have money every game so first step is to go to your tombstone and get all your money okay guys now with this, you do not need to bring anything into the game because you have because you can actually buy everything with the money. So once you go to your tombstone and you click the money that you've been duplicating by dying with your tombstone, which all my past videos have shown, so I don't need to show that here. Once you've got your money, what you want to do is go straight to a mystery box. And you want to go to the mystery box and spam the mystery box until you get wonder weapons. Now I know that sounds hard, but as you guys will see from this footage right here, I get the ray gun on my first try oh the wonder waff on our first try and then just a couple more spins later i get the wonder waffle i mean the ray gun and then my very next game my very first spin was the ray gun guys so you do get wonder weapons quite easy from here and be aware you've got a million dollars to spend so even if it takes you five minutes of spamming the mystery box you can you will get it eventually guys okay and even if the mystery box disappears just wait at that location and it will come back in like another 30 seconds later but as you see here we have now got the wonder two wonder weapons within a few spins my very next game i come back and then i got the ray gun guys once you've got your wonder weapon you want to go along and you want to get your perks the main perk you really need is juggernaut stamina up and quick revive go across and double pack a punch your two wonder weapons or one if you've got it you mainly just need the ray gun in the tier two zone that's where you'll do your pack a punch of up to level two then all you need is the tier two buy station go and buy your sentries you can buy three plate vests self revive and monkey bombs from here and a medium backpack so you can carry more stuff now after you've done that all you need to do is you want to make sure that you've got the phd flopper perk as well guys so if you haven't already got that you need to make sure you go along and get that but as you see here these are all the things you can get from the buy station make sure you grab your monkey bombs and at least about three monkey bombs and two sentries because you're going to need them when you go and start going into the red zone now make sure again make sure you get phd flopper if you're using the ray gun because it stops you taking damage from your ray gun blast so you can shoot things in your face also phd flopper is absolutely way more powerful than i think a lot of people realize because phd flopper also stops you taking gas damage so in the infected infested um strongholds and stuff like that you take no damage from the gas and as you see here the end zone gas does not hurt you at all as long as you have phd flopper perk on so you don't need to panic about that gas coming in because well as you see you can move around faster than it and it doesn't damage you now guys you're fully set up for the red zone and now i'm going to teach you guys how to enter into the red zone with your perks and all your setup and glitches so that you can set it up to be a super easy guys you're going to make it so it's going to be zombie free practically so what you want to do is you want to approach it slowly from the edge and on the edge you want to set up your sentry gun right but 
as soon as you get onto the island, they're going to get pushed by a couple zombies. So you're just going to have to deal with a couple of those. Now, this is why I say hang around the edge, because you can use the water to keep yourself safe at this point. Now, the, you're bringing in three monkey bombs, so that you can throw one away first to deal with this first horde of zombies. Then you've got some more monkey bombs to carry on with once you get your sentry down. So once you've dealt with the first amount of zombies, like you see right here, you'll be set to be able to set up your first location of a safe zone on the red map red area guys so as you see here i've cleared out this first little bit of zombies and now i'm ready to go and set up my safe location for this you want to set your sentry down near an air something that you can use to jump on top of your sentry so like you see here i put it here we jump on top of our sentry crouch and then looking directly at that circle on top of the sentry put your cursor on there and throw your monkey bomb it will glitch out and it will land on top of it. That monkey bomb will stay there for the entirety of game. Doesn't matter how many more you set up all around the map, you just set up more and more safe zones, guys. That's why this is so broken and so OP. No zombies within the, within the range of the monkey bomb will come and attack you. They'll just go there. Now, also, if there's zombies out of the range that are sort of attacking you, you can just, all, just trail them back to the monkey bomb and they'll get attracted to it and they'll get stuck there. So you can clear up the zombies in the areas around you you're now free to go triple pack a punch your guns now you've got this triple pack a punch wonder weapons you've got the perk colas here that you can just buy all your perks so you can now get all your perks which is absolutely awesome too now you're fully set up fully pack a punch and you've got safe zones now all you need to do is you can go along and because you've got unlimited money buy sentries and buy monkey bombs from the gas from the buy stations and set up your safe zones all around all around the red zone and then once you've got some safe zones set up you're free just to start doing hvt contracts guys as you'll see the dogs and the bosses will not be attracted to your monkey bomb bug but as you see, it's no problem because, well, you don't have to worry about all the zombies, the sprinting zombies killing you, and that's what the hard part is in this zone. So now you've just made this completely easy. So also, once you've started setting up this, you want to also set up your sentry gun and your monkey bomb at the buy station in the tier 3 zone because now, once you set this up here, you've got safe zone right by the buy station and you can unlimitedly buy juggernauts you can buy more monkey bombs and unlimited supply of monkey bombs sentry guns and juggernauts to set up the entire red zone as a safe zone guys then it's just easy mode guys so as you see here for 10,000, you can buy a Juggernaut, and you use the Juggernaut kill streaks to kill the Mega Abominations really easily. Use your monkey bombs and your sentry guns to deal with all the zombies, and go out there and farm your Mega Abominations to try and get your ray gun schematic, guys. As you see here, as you're going around, it's simple as just plant your tra your sentry gun around the map just set these up all around the map guys as you'll see this is what i do and then you'll just make it super easy you can do this all solo you don't have to have a full squad but guys if you do have a full squad when you're doing this and and when you kill the abomination all three of you look at the prize you're all three of you are going to get a different um, prize you cannot touch each other's prize and every so if there's three of you in your team when you complete a mission you actually triple the amount of prizes you get from it so you're tripling the the, the chances of seeing a ray gun schematic if you've got a full team over doing it solo guys but as you see here once you've got your monkey bomb set up it's easy you just call in your juggernauts which you can buy unlimited amounts as well because you're doing the money glitch money's not an issue so that buy station is just an unlimited supply of everything you need guys and well juggernaut will deal with that now the only things again that won't go to the the monkey bomb is going to be the bosses and the dogs the dogs can be a, a annoying sometimes but they're not anything that's going to kill you the bosses they're annoying at sometimes but they shouldn't really kill you either because you've got a three plate vest if you have speed reload speed cola perk you can actually instantly you, it makes it so you can plate up really fast it's just completely easy guys as you see juggernauts deal with the mega abominations and everything guys you can get out there and you can get your perk easy as simple as guys get out there and just farm up these mega abominations abomination after abomination now when you run out of contracts in the red zone don't just quit the game thinking there's no more 
because these HVT contracts keep respawning. So if there is none, just keep doing it. And guys, also do not attack the Omega Abominations when they are not the contract HVT contract, because then there's more on the map to be selected when you select your HVT contracts. So you have a higher chance of getting a Mega Abomination. And I've heard that these are the highest chance thing for dropping the ray gun schematic so those are what i'm farming but with that said guys that'll complete this video you can now do the red zone on easy mode with that said thank you guys for watching my videos hope you guys can get out there and get your awesome ray gun schematic get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and make sure you have an awesome day thank you guys for watching my videos i'll catch you on the next one b man out